Okay, look at my new purchase. So my neighbor scraps steel, and this was in his scrap pile. And I looked it over, and it's actually in really good shape, uh, considering it's been sitting outside for years. There's some adjustments I need to make, and I gotta fix the brakes, but this is really cool. This handbrake goes to a hydraulic brake system for the back brakes that have hydraulic disc brakes. So I'll get those working, and it's, you know, a fairly small, fairly lightweight wagon. They're not disc brakes, those are drum brakes. Oh, drum brakes, sorry. Yeah, Isaac's right. The only problem it has, here, Isaac, come take this film and I'll show him the problem. Somebody had altered it, to go from a, a team hitch to a single horse hitch with shafts. So this sat inside of here, like this, and when you would turn, it would hit the tire, not allowing you to have the full turning radius. So that was as far as you could turn with the way they had it set up, but without it, it goes that much further. So I want to be able to turn as sharp as I can. So what I'm going to do is build my own shaft, and we're gonna build it up like this, where it goes down to those, goes down, and this can turn as sharp as it wants to turn. That's our project for the day. It's a beautiful day today. It's the first part of November, and I've got my wagon fixed up almost to the point of being where I want it. Still need to repair the brakes, but I got uh, single horse shafts welded and fabricated the way I think that they'll work good. I fixed the seat just enough to where it'll work. Um, still needs, you know, fabric and cushions, but for now I'm just gonna throw this cushion on there <laughs> so that I have something to sit on. Um, as you can see, my turning radius now can go, this one. it can go all the way till it maxes out without interfering with the tires. Where before, about right here, it would hit the tires. So I've got perfect turning radius now. It goes all the way to where it maxes out both directions without interfering with the rubber. And uh, it pulls pretty good. I got the tires fixed, uh, holding air now. So no more low tires. And we're gonna hook April up to it and see how she does on her first, first ride. Uh, we've been having some trouble. So first thing I did is I made better attachments for the braking system that comes around the hips and I made better attachments for my wagon here so we should be in better shape now the first time I tried this with April the other day she was too scared to go so today we've got Becca on her horse she's gonna ride in front of us and for the first mile or so I'm just going to uh, lead her then on the way back in, I'm going to try to drive her. Okay, so at first, I'm just gonna tell her to walk and I'm gonna lead her. Walk up, April. Good girl, babe. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, she doesn't look scared. When, I, when she can see me, she's not scared. But when she can't, she gets real scared. Come on, walk up. Walk up. Walk on. I'm hoping after about a mile of this, it will give her confidence enough to do it with me in the saddle. Cause she already knows how to drive really well. Or not saddle, in the seat. And this will go down two or three hills first to let her practice stopping it with no weight in the wagon. Okay, so she's doing pretty good. So I'm gonna try to drive her while walking next to her to see if that um, helps her learn this any. After practicing starting and stopping a few times without any weight in the wagon, I climbed in and we took off for her Walk first on, time pulling me in the big wagon. And of course, I never doubted doubted April any. She's a great horse with a great temperament, and she started pulling. And now it's just going to take a little bit of practice to get her comfortable with it. 
two things I'm doing to help her be more comfortable and go on down the Walk road on, is I have Becca out in front of her and we have her in an enclosed road where there's trees on both sides and she can just see a long ways ahead of her. Both things in the psychology of a horse in the mind make them think just go on down the road. You've got the other horse for comfort in front of them, less things to spook her, even though April's not very spooky. And they can see down the path and they just know go on down the road and they get kind of comfortable doing that. She's doing a good job here and we're getting her up to speed and getting her pushing on in a good walk will also help um, alleviate some of the pressure and weight of the wagon. A lot of my content is to help people learn how to train fox trotters. However, I want to put a disclaimer on this. It's my opinion that training a horse to pull a wagon in shafts is probably the most dangerous part of training you can do. I do not recommend doing this with every horse and I do not recommend um, amateurs doing this by themselves. It would always be good to have a spotter or second person helping you and only try this with the very best quality and best temperamented horses that you have and can find. April is one of the only horses that I've tried to train to pull a wagon in the last 10 or 20 years because she's so exceptional. Um, this is her legit first time with this wagon. Now I have pulled sleds and pulled uh, tires and other types of drags, but once you add in the shafts, they feel a little more trapped, a little more claustrophobic, and something with tires, they also have to stop the load. As you see here, the britching strap or the, the strap around her butt acts as the brakes for the wagon. So she's holding the load of the wagon while going down that hill from the railroad tracks, as well as having to pull the load when on level ground or going uphill. There's so much that can go wrong in training a horse to pull a wagon. And unlike when you're on top of them, it's a lot harder to stop, you know, bad behavior if, if anything were to go wrong. So if this is something you're going to try, just make sure to be very safe and to have as much help as possible. And also, if you can, get a horse as good as April. But good luck doing that. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, babe. Stan, 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 good girl. Just stand there. Because April was working good and was in a good state of mind, girl. it was uh, my thought that I needed to work on and practice stopping good. and starting the load. Starting the load is where hey, horses and harnesses that are green like April That's get the most girl. anxiety. Um, and then, of That's course, you know, you need girl. to work on building patience and, and standing still while harnessed in the wagon. She's doing a real good job today, and I couldn't be more pleased with her first time. Okay, we're down here by the interstate, and we're going to have to do our first turnaround. There's a big spot in the road up here, and that's where we're going to try to turn around at. Go ahead, Becca. Sometimes turning the first time with the shafts and stuff will make a horse nervous. Walk easy, babe. Very good. Easy. No problem. For our first sharp turnaround, that couldn't have gone any better. And now we're headed home, which as anybody who's rode horses knows, heading home is always a little bit easier because the horse knows where they live and has a little bit more drive. So now I'm gonna work on getting her to gate well while under the harness. And here she's doing a really good flat foot walk, which is a nice gait and it really moves the wagon along nicely at a nice clip and um, you can cover some ground. I've been working on April quite a bit with the wagon since this video, and she's really gaining a lot of strength and doing very good, and I'm starting to lengthen her rides. This first one 
we went about a mile and a quarter down the road, turned around, and, and then came back. So maybe two and a half miles in total. Whoa, babe. Whoa. Whoa now. Whoa. Good girl. Okay, walk on. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That was just another practicing of starting and stopping. Like I said, that's where they can get the most anxiety and a lot of times they might even rear up a little bit before they start a load because they're afraid they can't st uh, can't manage the load or can't start the load, as they would say. So it's very important when they're in a good mindset and they're wanting to go home to practice starting and stopping that load. Here Becca got in beside us so that April would be able to go kind of take the lead and to travel without her in front of us. But it also gives us a good opportunity to see how beautiful April is and how well she gates while pulling this wagon. As much as I would hate to do it, um, because April is my best horse, she is for sale here at the farm. So if she's something you'd be interested in, um, make, try to get a hold of me on Facebook or, uh, or on our family farm page on Facebook, which is Rosa Family Stables. Right there, I was getting back in the wagon because there was a steep hill on our road. And I kind of thought with it being her first time, I wouldn't put her under the labor, labor of having to pull me uh, in the wagon loaded. So I got off and walked her up the hill. It's always good to build up and make sure that they are fully successful so that they know they can handle it on their first attempt at pulling a wagon or their first attempt at anything in life. Um, you want to make it to where they're guaranteed success and you're maybe only asking 70% of their effort. You don't want to ask for 100% of their effort and let them fail because they'll think, well, I'm just, a, I tried, but I'm not good enough. We want to build confidence while we're training. And that's why I don't ask her to uh, pull us uphill on this first wagon ride. She's plenty strong enough, wagon's pr plenty light enough, but it's gonna be probably four or five times before I ask her to go up that hill loaded. Last thing's this little hill. I'm gonna see how she handles this hill. Stay in the wagon for this one. It's not that steep, it's gradual. That concludes our trail, our first wagon ride with April. She did very, very good today. And uh, I think having Becca along really helped and having all my new setups on the wagon really helped. And we'll just build from there. We'll start working on turning and, and swinging and backing up. But today, just getting her up and down those hills and having a nice ride is a really excellent start. I'd give her an A+. Plus. Thanks for watching, and if you want to keep up on April's progress, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and tell your friends. Leave comments, whatever you can do to help the channel grow. Thank you. God bless.